so far. If you've been here for long, you'll see that we come up with vision here in Washington. We come up with strategy in Washington. We, we have turned one church to many, many churches. And we have started many, many branches. And look at it today. The church is still growing because of vision. Because of vision. Because of vision. Don't just remain on the status quo. If you want a glorious ending, success in your life. You know, it's not all just spiritual. I have given you both spirituality and practicality. Balancing everything together. Paul said, I don't consider myself to have apprehended. I'm, I'm not where I want to be yet. I'm not where I ought to be yet. I don't have everything I'm supposed to have. I have not accomplished everything I need to accomplish. He said, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind. Think of yourself, think of your life, think of your future. Your spiritual life, very, very important. Your physical life, your financial life, your business life, your academic life, very important. God is saying, you are not there yet. You are not there yet. You are not there yet. He said, I press forward. Put in effort. Put in energy. He said, towards the mark. Towards the mark. He said, I press forward towards the goal. There is a price of an high calling. If you're just an ordinary member in the church, God made you to be better than that. If you have been laboring and there is no fruit, and you are happy, I'm laboring, I'm laboring, that's not the way God wants you to be. God wants you to multiply. To multiply. Whatever strategy you have to employ, He that keepeth the law, happy is he. He that keepeth the law, the law of prayer. Pray with all prayer. The law of dream, vision, picture. Picture yourself successful. The law of precision, the law of persuasion, the law of passion, the law of persistence, the law of precaution, the law of painstaking, the law of productivity, the law of partnership, the law of perspicacy, and the law of praise. I'm going higher, yes, I am. I'm going higher someday. If you're still at the level of salvation, move on to sanctification. If you're still at the level of sanctification, move on to the Holy Ghost baptism. If you're at the level of the Holy Ghost baptism, move on to the level of the gift of the Spirit. If you're at the level of the gift of the Spirit, move on to the gift of the workings of this gift of the Spirit. And that's where you begin to see the acts of the apostles, the activities, the results, the, achievement, the achievements, the victories and the successes of men of vision, of men of goal, glorious ending. At the end of the day, Paul said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my cause.
turn the table around. Turn the table around. Turn the table around. Think different. Speak different. Act different. You are a success in the making. How old are you right now? How many more years do you have to spend? Your past years have gone. Let your coming years be glorious years. If you hear this message and you do nothing about it, will come again, you remain in the same place. But you do something about it. Happy you will be. Happy you will be. Happy you will be. Happy you will be. Happy. God wants you to be happy. You are a child of God. You are a child of the King. The Bible says you'll be head and not the chair. You'll be above only and not beneath. Happy is he. You'll be happy in the ministry. You'll be happy in the family. You'll be happy in your business. You'll be happy in your career. You'll be happy in your academics. You'll be happy with your body. Set a goal for your body, for your health as well. Set a goal. Be a man of goal, a woman of goal. Set a goal for your children. Set a goal. Don't blame the devil. Forget about the devil. The devil couldn't stop wearing buffets. The devil couldn't stop Bill Gates. The devil couldn't stop Elon Musk. Stop blaming the devil. The same brain God gave them, he gave to you. Use it. Use it. Stop blaming the conservative nature of Deep Alive Bible Church for lack of growth. It is your fault. It is my fault. We need to wake up. A new vision. A new vision. A new vision for, for a glorious ending. Never allow what anybody is saying or doing to limit you, to hinder you, to prevent you from accomplishing your goal. It's not their style, it's your style. It was the style of Saul. To wear the helmet, to put on the shoe and all the gadgets. But the style of David was different. With all the style of Saul, he couldn't confront Goliath. But with, with the sling and five stone, David pulled down Goliath. What strategy has God given unto you? Put it to work. Be not afraid. Be not dismayed. Your style of preaching may be different. Your style of teaching may be different. If it is working, if it is getting them saved, if it is increasing the church, go ahead. Tell the Lord to open your eyes and give you new revelation. Somebody here is going up higher today. Moving up higher today. Somebody here is excelling. Your life will not remain the same. Your ministry will not remain the same. Your family will not remain the same. There is a miracle about to happen. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody will do it for you. Nobody will do it for you. 
You are the man of the hour. You are the woman of the hour. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Father, we thank you and we bless your name. We worship you, O oh God, for how it's spoken to each one of us. Thank you, Lord, for your servant, your views, to bless our hearts this day. Father, we pray, O oh God, that you touch our lives. You transform us. Make us, O oh God, the kind of people you want us to be. To be able to advance the cause of the gospel, oh God, in our various areas of ministry in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, our lives will move forward. Amen. Our families will move forward. Amen. The church of God will move forward. Amen. And the name of God will be glorified in Jesus' name. Amen. All that we need, Lord, has been explained to us. Amen. We pray that, Lord, by your grace, you help us, oh God. As we seek you in prayer, O oh God, you'll be able to make us effective in Jesus' name. As we apply all these principles I've explained, Lord, our lives will not be the same again. The church will not be the same again. Our families will not be the same again. And the kingdom of God will make great progress to your glory in Jesus' name. We want to thank you, want to bless your name, Father, because we believe it is done. We will never be the same again. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. God bless you.